You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's After Show. Born to be wild. Turn up. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Born to be I can't say it. What up, y'all? What up, everybody? Welcome to the Lottery After Show. Yes, I said the lottery. And no, you didn't win nothing. Yep. I'm your host, Stefan, and I'm here with two beautiful women. Aww. What's your name, lady? Hi, I'm Candy Bonostro. And I'm Marina Santos. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. And um, But let's get into the lottery, the lottery pilot. This is actually the first episode of this season. And uh, so I guess basically the lottery, it's now the year 2025. Um, six years ago, 20, 2019, the last six kids were born on the planet. There's no more kids being born. Everybody else is infertile since uh, since 2019. So this is a it's a kind of an insane world. It's kind of scary though. It is scary it's, because it's something a possibility that, that can happen because there's all that trash we're doing yeah. to the environment and it's scary. And in their mind, is the end of humanity, right? Once people are gone, there is nobody else. There. Right, right. We, we're like becoming extinct literally on this show. And I mean, not to get all personal, but I know a lot of uh, young ladies that are having trouble having kids yeah. in today's society. So them putting out a show like this and the threat yeah. of the possibility of there not being uh, eggs being able to be fertilized. What? You know, I pride myself as a fertile man. I can't wait to spread my seed but this is making me <laughs> this is making me nervous man anyway so um there's in the last six years there's only been six kids born and basically in this episode uh we have the allison dr allison lennon she has discovered that um they have been able to fertilize a human embryo 100, 100. of them actually mm-hmm. which like is good style. news yeah <laughs> well, you, maybe you're talking about when, when they enter the show, uh, Dr. Allison immediately starts off. She's in a bar, and uh, she basically picks up on, on the black dudes. I was like, what's He's going? fertile. <laughs> she knew, well, you he, know <laughs> no, what they say. He had the premature hair loss, yeah. I know. she said. She looked into his file and mm-hmm. everything. She was going after them. He had that she, Somalian blood. Somalian blood. I wonder if I... Anyway, um, so she, she <laughs> takes home... The handsome black dude, she don't even want him, which lets us know she passed on the handsome guy for the the hair, lo- the hair loss and the pudgier guy. And she was very disappointed. I think yeah. at first she was excited. She was like, yeah. And then he was like, oh, it's not you. She's yeah. like, at least I can enjoy <laughs> it. <laughs> like, okay, I need a few more cocktails, please. Right. right. At least I can enjoy this mission, which is crazy. Uh, but we, we find out that she's, I guess every woman is trying to get pregnant you know uh, at all costs Mm -hmm. so uh i mean what a wonderful but tragic world they're living in that i i never wish on us but it sounds amazing um so human extinction is about to happen and uh everybody's panicking but here are these 100 viable human embryo and i don't know about y'all but as soon as she started telling everybody about it i was like they either gonna kill you or fire you Mm -hmm. you you gotta know that's coming Mm-hmm. The government is so shady. As soon as she found that out, they came and they fired her. Yeah, mm-hmm. like nothing. They're like, hey, well, thanks for your work. Uh, you know, we're going to take over from here. She's like, dude, I've been working on this five years. How dare you? But that is how the government operates. So. And her partner just, he, he's like, okay. Sold her out. Yeah. What, James. What's his name? James. Do you think he was her love interest at one point? Or of no? Co- I yeah. think so. There's some tension in there, and you can tell he likes her. Yeah. James is a wuss. He is a wuss. He needs to grow some... (laughs) Cojones. Cojones. (laughs) He got no backbone, man. No. Man, James... But he did steal that info for her. He got all the... But that's a part of his wuss personality, though. That's true. She was like, go get me some info. Okay. (laughs) You know? He's a puppy dog. He's a puppy dog. Well, uh, real quick, since I do have some Latin women here, shout out to the El Presidente being Latino. I mean, they represent... 2025 
All right, all right. Can I'm we about... talk about how this is for Lifetime? And really, this is like big ups to Lifetime for doing something different. Like, sure. you don't see this on the network. So it's a different like aspect they're trying mm-hmm. to get into to more viewers. But I mean, I think it's genius. And I, I do too. I love it so far. So. Yeah, shout out to Lifetime. They're stretching stretching their borders now, you know. I know they they, they, they do like, as Devious Maids. Devious Maids, Maids on, which is the Vista. Yeah. Now we're going into the lottery. So I guess to explain what the lottery is, um, now there's a hundred viable human embryo that mm-hmm. can be successfully fertilized, and um, they've been taken away from Dr. Allison, and now the government's trying to figure out what, what how to disperse them, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, originally they said uh, we should we should impregnate or get surrogates that are uh, soldiers, female soldiers, female soldiers, mm-hmm. which I thought was the right way to go. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Why not? Well, I I kind of like that um, Allison wanted to give to to the actual mom, you know, the Brooke. Egg, yeah Brooke, and she, I think Poor she wanted Brooke. all the eggs to go to to the moms because yeah. you know what or not Warm. it is her egg, you know, you know it's gonna do well in her body. Sure, it was made for yeah, her. Yeah, it was literally. made for her. Yeah. So so that's what I would like to have it done. <laughs> But I understand them, their mentality of, like, we, we got to keep this safe. Yeah. And we can trust these, these women in the military. And then also, okay, so I, I'm thinking with the, with the military women, the soldiers, you're thinking we haven't been able to make any more kids. This is our first shot at making, like, 100 new kids. Mm-hmm. Why not make elite, like, athletes or freaking warriors? No? Well, I don't. I mean, they couldn't even fertilize an egg. How are they going to, like, <laughs> yes. actually, you know, let's just not fertilize. Let's make the next Michael Phelps. <laughs> you know, right. I think, I think right. that maybe in the future, once they have a few more kids to to check their DNAs and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they also were thinking, have them be soldiers because they're, also, they're, they're thinking protection, mm-hmm. which, you know, if you're a female soldier, more than likely you can handle a weapon, you can defend yourself, you know, and protect the, the future of the... Absolutely. Freaking free world. And I think in a way that they can also control. Uh, of course. You it's know? all government's yeah. always about control. It's not just like, you know, they're they're great candidates, but I think they want to have control of those women. And if it's just any woman, you know, in society, they're like, Well, you know, we can try, but want it or not, they can try to do something else. Yeah, yeah. And I'm surprised that a woman came up with the idea for the lottery, uh, the chief of staff, Vanessa. Yeah. yeah. You would think that she would want to do, well, I guess she works for the government, would want to do the morally correct thing. I mean, her brother was uh, picked up for selling counterfeit fertility drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. Nick. Oh, yeah, Nick. Yeah, that was very strange. I didn't yeah. think about that, but that, that was very strange that she would. Well, I saw the correlation there. I mean, Nick, when he's arrested and he lets us know, hey, I'm, I'm your brother, you know. Uh, these these shows that always spell it all out for us. It's always so funny. But uh, so Nick's her brother. We find that out. He's the he's the drug dealer, but or the illegal fertility dealer. Uh, but he says something that actually sits. It resonates with her. Mm-hmm. He says, you know, I'm selling hope to these women. Sure. He said fifty dollars they give me, but in return I sell them hope. And uh, if you notice, Chief of Staff Vanessa Keller, she says, hey. This is, w- this is a way that we can sell hope to the American people. She was like, let's have a lottery. Let them know that uh, it's, it's like equal representation. Everybody has a chance. Y- anybody can be a mother. You know, and she, she stole it from her brother. And it was funny because he also said, you know, when they were talking, he said, you know, you're not doing this for me. You're doing this for you, yeah. Which kind of shows her personality. Mm-hmm. You know, we get to. I was like, oh, Cut yeah, okay. So it makes more sense for her to steal not, it. Yeah, to steal it, <laughs> and not go with the moral version, uh, yeah. right? And go with like, let's do a lottery, right, you right? Because she got the credit for. Her. And that's what she wants, and uh, they also drop a little hint too. Um, well, I guess it's not the chief of staff, but the uh, the guy who looks like the scary bad guy. Uh, he's uh, creepy. I, yeah. I not, wouldn't want to see the, him in a dark alley. Not the stalker alley. <laughs> guy, but the uh, the who works in the government. His boss. He said to uh, oh, he oh, said, yes, yes, yes. I don't know what his name is, but he said to to uh, uh, Vanessa Keller. He said, um, "I already know that you're only doing this because you want to run mm-hmm. for office. So it's all selfish for her. She's thinking 
plant my seed now, pardon the pun. And, uh, you know, later on, these people are going to look at me like I was the one who brought back life. No doubt. She's doing it 100%. She's in it for herself. Okay. She don't care about nobody. She's, and she's hot. She's playing the game. Yeah. You know, there's all this protest going on. They want to, you know, um, get people out of office. And this was her way of kind of balancing it out and be like, here, I'm on your side. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look like, at me. Yeah. I'm for the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a, She's one to watch. She's one to watch because she also, I guess, she put that tail on to uh, Dr. Allison. So Dr. Allison stole the the uh, one of the, the embryo for uh, Brooke, Brooke Ashton. Oh, Brooke Ashton. Poor Brooke. Oh, oh, Brooke. Such You're great, heartbroken. Such great eyebrows, Brooke. <laughs> he had a such crush on eyebrows. her. Yeah, he was a little sad. And <laughs> when she committed suicide. Right. <laughs> Man, the government has always got people committing suicide with air quotes. But, uh, yeah, so she, she steals Brooke's. Embryo. She's like, I'm gonna give it to the mother. I'm gonna do the right thing, and out jumps uh, Vanessa Keller, chief of staff. Took care She's of it. She's like, yeah. She was like, hey, no, I'm your friend. Hey, come with me. Blah blah blah. But it turns out she sicks the bloodhound on him. Well, on Brooke her. needed to calm down a little bit. She got too excited. Even oh. Allison was like, look, you need to calm down. We're gonna get you your eggs. And but mm -hmm. she had already called a lawyer. Was gonna do all. She got too much she, notice. She should have known herself. better. It's the government. Yeah. You know, they'll, you can't get in the way. Yeah. They're going to get you. And it's like, there's own, there hasn't been any children in years. Well, six, there's the last six. Six in the six last year six years. Old, yeah. Yeah. So you got to know that this is deathly important, like life or death important. Literally. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with her, but. Shout out to Brooke for her little cameo because she is no longer. <laughs> Adios, amiga. Adios. Uh, so I guess one of the main characters that we will be seeing is Mr. Kyle Walker. Got the magic sperm. He got the <laughs> magic stick. <laughs> He's getting everyone knocked up. <laughs> hey, we got to play magic stick for next week. <laughs> 50 cent. Anyway, uh, so uh, Kyle, who successfully impregnated somebody, see, a drug addict, I guess mm -hmm. he said, is what? Is, yes. Is, the baby mama. Little Elvis, man. Little He's Elvis. adorable. He's oh very cute. How cute is he? That so is cute. pretty hot, too. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. Uh, he's diabetic, of course, so we got to really treat him with kid gloves. Uh, you know, pardon the next pun, Stefan. And uh, really take care of this kid because there's, there's only been six. Mm -hmm. And he's one of the six. So uh, poor little Elvis. Dad's a single dad, and he's struggling to do what he's got to do. He's literally doing what, what he he's got to do, do yeah. to get that money to take care of his son. Because uh, I guess it's big business right now. Well, his sperm, if we find out at the end, was what got Brooke Ashton's uh, fertilized her egg. Yeah. Shout out to Kyle Walker. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely has the magic He's stick. a man. <laughs> so, uh, so he got... I. Shouldn't he be getting like a ton of money? I was thinking, like if I was the la if I was one of the last six to get a woman pregnant, the next woman that sleep with me for money, it's gonna be like, I need ten thousand dollars for ten minutes. <laughs> I'm I, I'm only putting in ten minutes for ten thousand dollars. I mean, I mean, you want to up thousand a minute? <laughs> Okay. Well, when he no. got to that woman's house, uh, she's like, oh, he, Kyle's like, oh, the doctor referred me. So now, in like in 10 years, are they doing like gigolo house calls? Yeah. Or, yeah. The doctors are, are the pimps. I mean, I guess they're desperate times. but Desperate measures. A anything for science. Oh, uh, Lord. Oh, okay. Lord. I don't know. Uh, Lord, help us. Please don't let this ever happen to us uh, in America, <laughs> honestly. That's scary. So, uh, so we do have a lottery that is going on. Uh, it has been implemented, and uh, the President of the United States has announced that 100 viable human embryos that have been successfully fertilized, they are now looking for 100 surrogates, surrogates to, uh, to host, and it can be anybody. And immediately everybody, uh, Stephen was saying, what if it's like a crackhead or something? What if, <laughs> yeah. what if somebody like some somebody in the projects wins? You know what I'm saying? And I, I guess there should be some rules in there, right? Yeah. yeah, 
I, well, since it's the government, I don't believe that they're really just going to give away the eggs anyway. Oh, no, it's no. already. I, the, it's they're gonna, It's yeah. going to be selected. Who do you want so. it? But make it look like you want Right. I don't, I don't know. Make no. us feel hope. Yeah, we thought, oh, darn, I didn't make it. That one lady did, the lady that they pre-selected, uh, you know, a long did time ago. Did all these tests to see if she right. was good and healthy. She's bionic. The bionic woman is who actually gets the embryos. But uh, to our knowledge right now, I guess embryos will be, like, auctioned off in this, in this lottery. Mm -hmm. And there will be diverse, equal representation in the lottery. Uh, uh, would you want that? Like, if you lived in, in the time period would you want it it's a little scary right yeah it's a little I mean, scary I, don't know. I don't i know it's not really an option for you but, <laughs> no, I'm, but I'm, I'm i'm putting myself in a woman's <laughs> shoes and i'm thinking one of two things is going to happen either people are going to look at you like oh my god she's a superhero we need to always be trying to help her you know mm -hmm. make sure she's okay because this is a rare thing or they gonna be trying to kill you and it's, take your baby and I don't know what they gonna try to do. Well, like, it's kind of like how the the moms are treating Elvis and he kind of uh, oh, Kyle kind of told right? like, like put them in their place like you know. Yeah, stop he, coming my yeah, son's hair. He's yeah. not a pet. He's a boy. He just wants to be normal. Yeah. And yeah. I think that pissed uh what the one of the moms off Molly and <laughs> she called child services. Oh, yeah. Molly. Oh. What a, what a dumb name, anyway. But I'm glad he, he got Elvis back. All the Mollys are there. not going to be happy with you. <laughs> uh, Molly Ringwald. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, so Elvis is, uh, is, is being treated like, you know, very special and, mm -hmm. and, and set apart. They're trying to do whatever they can to take him away, too. Yeah. You know, they, w they looked into his past, saw that yeah. he was an alcoholic, yep. saw that the mom was a drug, uh, drug addict. addict. So they're really trying to take him away. And he has diabetes. Yeah. So he's just, you know, he needs to be taken care of. But he needs Extra to be with his father. Mm -hmm. All that. Yeah, of course he needs to be with his dad. So you can only imagine what's going to happen with those 100 women, right? Exactly what so I'm thinking. So much jealousy going on. Yeah. yeah. People going to be kidnapping kids and ransom. You kidnap ransom a person for kids. until they have the baby and then take the baby. <laughs> yeah, they, don't, they ain't even stealing cars no more. They're stealing <laughs> babies. W imagine how much a baby would be worth on the black market. Well, I guess well, you couldn't even it, sell it. No, it. I mean, you know, yeah, they have, <laughs> you couldn't even. They if you tried to sell it, they'd be no. like, "Okay, dude, yeah. go to jail. You, you the one who took the baby." Yeah. Yeah, because there's only like a hundred. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. This is this is an insane plot. It really I is. Love it. I, I really writing. like it. It's very different. Yeah. yeah. It was very surprising that that they came up with it. Yeah. You know, like a lot of the RTV shows are. You know, they're different, but they're all the same. Yeah. And this was just like, woo! Because it's totally relevant. Because yeah. that could totally happen to us in 10 years if we don't start taking yeah. care of our environment. And like, and and like you stuff. said, you know, a lot of women can't have babies. Yeah. And they're young. Mm -hmm. They're not like older women. Like yeah. people in their late 20s, in their 30s, early 30s are struggling. Yeah. So yeah. this could be something that would happen. It's that we need to be maybe thinking about. You know, it's pretty creative. Go have babies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Everybody get pregnant right now, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Uh, no, that, uh, it's pretty scary. But it is creative, and, and I'm interested to see where they're going to take all this because um, they've actually kind of reinstituted uh, Dr. Allison to be like the face of the heroic face that came out and, you know, uh, uh, f figured this whole thing out and, uh, they want to point to scientists. They want to make heroes out of this whole thing. Uh, Vanessa Keller, obviously, chief of staff, has her sights set on uh, being somebody great and being looked at as somebody great. So there's going to be some ups and downs that are going to go through this whole thing. And it shows that uh, for next week's episode, it showed a part of where Vanessa Keller, you kind of, it humanizes her a little bit. She doesn't seem like just, you know, that robotic, like doesn't care about anything because she's like, what are you doing to Allison? Because you can see the previews that they're torturing her. Yeah. Uh, see? Torture's happening. Oh. Babies. And then next week it shows that Kyle Walker, he had the virus in his sperm. Huh. What? Yeah, you I didn't see the previews. That. Hold on, hold on. And let's get some predictions of something going on oh, so yeah, we can let's talk about some it. Predictions. <laughs> and now, you're after Buzz TV. Wait. Predictions. So that was cow sperm that had the, the, the fungus or yeah. whatever? 
Oh. He, he got a virus in his sperm. Well, maybe that's what's helping get the woman pregnant. Yeah, maybe it's a good virus. Yeah. It's because he's been sleeping on all them chicks because <laughs> the doctor been pimping him out. No. He probably got the clap. <laughs> no, the, I think something. whatever he has is a gene or whatever. Yeah. You said he was cute. Don't try to back down now. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get him on the show and be like, "Hey, uh, sit over where's there." Where's the one eight hundred number? <laughs> <laughs> you like? Let me call my doctor and ask. It, why isn't this in my health code program? <laughs> health, <laughs> health insurance program. House calls. Yeah, for real. Oh, house calls. Man. So it is. Maybe his virus is actually the cure mm. for I think whatever's so. going on. So he he not only is fertile, but he's got the cure too. Holy crap! Kyle Walker. Make Hero. sure we get we got to get him on the show. We will. Uh, <laughs> I like candy. Get us Kyle Walker on this show and bring Elvis with you, but not the other one. Bring the baby boy. We like him too. He's, He's really adorable. cool. He's adorable. He's so cute. Super cute. With his little with his little mask. I I love kid actors. Yeah. Because they do such a good job and they're just a kid. So as far as predictions, though, where where what direction do you all think this is going to go in? I think there's going to be a love affair with uh, Allison and, um, Jesus, I just forgot his name, the dad. Kyle. Kyle, yes. Yeah. They're they're going to be together at some point. Allison and Kyle boning, yeah. huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think Allison's going to impregnate herself with Brooke Ashton. <gasps> that would be Embryo. amazing. I was thinking about that. She going to steal Brooke's baby. Brooks, hey, we got to play Brenda's Got a Baby next week oh by Tupac. <laughs> I'm thinking about all the songs we need to have playing. Uh, I have no idea what to predict that's going to happen. I think that um, somebody is definitely going to die, and I hope that it is not our Latino president, because if you think about it, if the world doesn't have babies, the world, but we're going to have a lottery only in America, they're coming to get our babies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did they mention something, whether it's I kind of feel like I saw something. Yeah. Like a terrorist. Terrorists coming in to get yep. these get babies or at least get the embryos or take something, they gonna come get us. So there's gonna be a lot of uh, it's gonna be a war out there. War over babies. War yes, over babies. babies. Most people trying to get their babies away. <laughs> these people want to steal babies. <laughs> anyway, hey, I don't know what's gonna happen, but thank y'all for checking it out with us. Yeah. This is the lottery. We will be here every week, yes. every Monday. Come check it out with us. Uh, I guess I am your host. Stefan Wallace. <laughs> if you want to find me on uh, Instagram or on Twitter, my handle is I am more fire. And Ooh. you? You can find me Candy Buen, C N D I E B U E N, on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rena Brazil. Yeah, we'll be back here next week selling hope to all y'all. So, hey, make tweet sure us. you tweet Ooh. us. Tell us what y'all think is going to happen. This show is crazy, and we're going to be crazy on it. Yeah. And we're going to have some special guests, so y'all be lay around for it. All right. Love y'all. See you next week. Bye. Adios. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.